Welcome to our last part of the series about MQTT and Quarkus. Uh, and now we want to, um, instead of statically fixed uh, specifying the topic, we want to make it dynamic from code, I guess. Yeah. So let's jump right into it. Exactly. So um, in the past, we configured this outgoing connector here. Um, we named it uplink messages. It's an MQTT connector with this host and port and with this topic. So this is a fixed topic and all our messages we send with this emitter where we specified the channel um, with that name uh, will go to this topic. But sometimes you want to specify the topic name dynamically. Um, for example, I had the use case we have a device ID here, and maybe we want to need we want to send configuration uh, to a special device. Um, so what we could have is like config uh, for device one, but also for device three, and they we might want to address them separately. So how can we do that? We can go to our sender. So you removed that line. It was like, uh, yeah, so while I... also navigating away. <laughs> 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 yeah. Like a magic trick. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I removed that line, the topic specification, because we don't need it here anymore. We yeah. will set it dynamically. Um, in here, we still have the same emitter connected to this connector. And now let's uh, define the topic name. Like ah, this. Mm -hmm. And let's also pass in like the device ID, for example. You could also pa pass in the complete topic, but Oh you could you could read the device ID out of the measurement, right? We had the Oh right, the right, there. right. I think it was in there. Uh, yeah. Device ID. Yes. Yeah. So um so we have the topic name. And now what we can do, instead of passing in um, the object directly, we can wrap it. And we can wrap it in MQTT message. Mm -hmm. uh, this was the wrong import, I think. From reactive messaging. That's important, not from vertex. Mm -hmm. And this has an off method. And as you can see here, we can directly pass in the payload or we can pass in the topic or we can pass in some metadata, um, but we don't need that Why now. Why are there so many exclamation marks? Um, the exclamation marks mm -hmm. mean this uh, cannot be uh, op null because in Java, these, these are Java things. Mm. Okay, it's like a bridging thing. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Okay. IntelliJ shows that. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So I thought, oh, well. yeah. <laughs> no, it's <laughs> but yeah, it's, it's not a double e exclamation mark, which uh, is a force unwrap. Okay. That's so on Swift. In Swift, the single exclamation mark is already the uh, force no. unwrap. So that's they, they why fall, I, when I see it, it's like yeah, you have to danger. do double uh, okay, okay. exclamation mark. So you are really sure. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, we want to put our measurement in here. So what we use is uh, topic and payload. And we just put in this message yeah. here. So the send method also accepts messages uh, of type measurement. And uh, that's it. Let's see. Um, we need to start focus. Maybe, oops. Let's add the locker here. So I need to double name the measurement and yes, let's quickly do that. 
and then we need to trigger this again. As you remember, we trigger it our, over our greeting resource um, where we specify the message and the yeah, device ID. Things changed. Okay. Yeah, I mean, yeah, I, I cannot accept this. <laughs> <laughs> this this triggers me. Um, names have to be right. For me, it's more triggering that you put the the message in the path, but yeah, <laughs> <laughs> that's just a hack. Yeah, then, then you could also call it. What was it before? No, no, it's not allowed. Okay. Device five. So sending to this uh, this message, mm -hmm. and in here we did receive the message. We didn't. We also should have seen in the log if it would have come in, right? Because you would also receive it. Or didn't we subscribe to the... Right. Ah, the sub subscribe. It wasn't even connected yet. Yeah. Okay. That's what happened. Uh, sorry. Searching for the right browser tab. Ah, no, okay. So now yeah. we send it. Uh, we received the raw message again. And we have it here. Uh, however, um, we currently don't know uh, which topic it was um, because we, we listened to the wildcard, but we could verify. And, uh, could, you, could you get the topic also in the receiver? Yes. To, to... By receiving the message here. Let's see if that, oops. It's not string most likely. By, ah, let's yeah. see. And my next question would be, if you can dynamically pick the topic you send, can you also? So here's the topic. Do it for reading. And uh, we also need the payload. Payload, right? So, um, a topic message dot topic receive raw message data from topic. Mm -hmm. But a boom. Oh, <clears throat> yeah. <clears throat> the thing is. Um, if you consume a message, then you need to return a uni or a completion stage. Um, so that is what you said before, if the receiving fails, yeah, notify back that it didn't. Yes, exactly. Uh, with, because with the message, you can then handle the X. Um, but this is handled, like, you can do it like this. Yeah. So if you, if you don't receive the message, then it acts automatically after the method is. Maybe act is acknowledge. Uh, right? oh, sorry. Acknowledges, <laughs> yeah. um, automatically, um, directly after your method, uh, is finished. So this is basically the confirmation that you received the message and could process it. Yes. Properly. And so the queue can forget about telling you this again. So. Uh, let's try again. Okay. As we have heard, this is not the truth. <laughs> it's only it reached the server. Now it's connected. Um, let's see. Let's trigger this. So we did send to occurrences five and we hide ourselves. So that we, we, we ah, I can also move a little bit no. to the left. We received the raw message data from this topic and this here. Nice. So now you could also use this to say, okay, uh, I mean, we have the device ID now in the message here, but if you would not have it, then you could also take it from topic. Um, and you could react on that. Did you had some other questions? Yes. Is it also possible to 
or maybe it's not needed um, to dynamically specify what you want to um, what topic you want to receive from so without having to statically um, put it no. there no. maybe it's no need to do that yeah um, that's what you have the wildcards for because you subscribe to this thing and um, the, the broker needs to know what stuff he should send you mm -hmm. so actually what it what Quarkus does here is it, it makes a call to the broker and the startup and says hey please uh, subscribe me to this topic okay and then you get all the stuff for this topic um yeah and there's i i think there's no dynamic way for the, yeah I mean, maybe it doesn't make sense at all and if you want to have different topics to, uh, yeah i mean you have the multiple blocks in there so. yes you can have multiple blocks um for example we could uh measurements two so let's uh what was our topic let's make this device specific device one measurements one and device two just for the fun um and you could have your measurements one, but also measurements two. Ah, you can both put both there. Okay, yeah. Yes. And then you can receive from both. And if you would just have the, the wildcard, then in code, you would have to jump out to different handlers or so, depending on the top. What? Yeah, so That's what you get for showing stuff you didn't prepare. That's why I'm here to ask the questions <laughs> that bring you to that. Uh, yeah, but you could you could have another other um, uh, function to receive the other one, right? Yeah, maybe, maybe it's kind of. I thought this would work. I was pretty. Yeah. There's no downstream yet. This, okay. Hmm. Strange. Okay. So would you Going say back. It's, it's better to subscribe to the wildcard? Yes. And then react in code? Because then you get every every message gets into this one yeah, function. Well, you, you would, you um, if we have our awesome topic here, then I would do something like this. Yeah. Or, yeah, measurements, then maybe something like this. Um, so this would be my temperature receiver yeah okay so you would not say uh, subscribe to wildcard everything yeah and then um go split it up in code yeah uh, i would, would still subscribe yeah. and then Meaningful. i can have methods yeah. for my temperature handling my whatever handling um you could still make like this this wildcard here um for another connector um maybe a, a catch-all connector yeah. Uh, would, who just writes into a log? Would Maybe it? If that's interesting send for you. Then two times. If you yeah, you get it on on both connectors okay. then. Yeah. yeah. Um, and one more question: You have it like structured measurement, then device ID, then temperature. Yeah. Uh, is that the way of doing it, or is, you could also just like measurement, temperature, and then at the end the device ID? Was um, there some reasoning behind that, or just? That's basically okay. whatever you like. Um, yeah. This was just um, half randomly chosen. <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, I thought maybe there's a reason for that. No, for... Um, I mean, you ha only have these two wildcards. You have the all after this wildcard, uh, and you have the um, one path segment wildcard, the plus. Um, so if you know what you want to listen to, then you can structure your topics. Yeah. Um, because if you want to st listen for all um, measurements, you can have it like device ID measurements. This also works because you can just make a plus here. Yeah. Uh, or if you have it the other way around, then you make the plus here. That's, you, but the most important part is start from what you want to achieve and what you want to listen to and then think about what is a reasonable structure yeah. and um, a good approach. Yeah. What's an understandable uh, structure? Yeah. And I forgot to ask this, I think in, in the beginning, so I'm asking it at the end, 
with the wildcats can you have multiple of them so can you have say yeah like multiple plus something something yeah okay yeah and the after the the hashtag wildcat can you say i don't care what what comes but it should end with or so can you no, do that okay, no then it's you just whatever comes. after good yeah okay then i think do you want to do another quick recap oh yeah um so um to to let me go back so you can see it before we specified the topic name here um we don't want to do this anymore we want to have a dynamic topic name and to do that um we still use the same emitter um but we somehow define our topic name um we template it here with the device id um, and then we create this MQTT message object. Um, here we can pass in the topic name and the data we want to send. And then we just send this object. And then we get the message uh, into this topic. And on the receiver side, if we actually want to know uh, what the topic was, if we use the wildcard, for example, then we can switch here to not directly consume the byte array, but also the message. Um, here we can, can get the topic from and the payload, which is the binary we had before. So we can still pass that. And uh, if we use the messages, then we need to handle the acknowledgement ourselves. Um, so at the end, we just uh, acknowledge this returns a completion stage. Um, you return this and then you're fine. Super good. Then I think this concludes the series about Quarkus and MQTT. At least for now. Maybe it will continue. Mm -hmm. If you liked it, you can leave a comment. Yeah. Uh, also, if you have some questions, uh, feel free. We look at the comments and try to, to answer them. Um, and yeah, then thanks for watching. And thanks for watching. See you next time. See you next time. Bye. Bye.